Hello, this is Sean, an application engineer here at DATAC Instruments. Today I'll give a short demonstration on how to make temperature measurements using thermocouples and one of our thermocouple data loggers. For this demonstration we'll use a standard off-the-shelf 3-foot K-type thermocouple and a DATAC Instruments model DI-2008. The 2008 features eight channels that can be individually configured as thermocouple or analog voltage inputs. When choosing a thermocouple type, temperature range and accuracy are key considerations. So is the instrument that you're going to be connecting the thermocouple to. The DI-2008 supports all standard thermocouple types, including J, K, T, B, R, S, E, and N-type thermocouples. And while our thermocouple is only 3 feet in length, longer, custom-length thermocouples are readily available. It's important to note, however, that the longer the thermocouple, the greater the odds of introducing inaccuracies in your temperature measurements. This is especially true in an electrically noisy environment like a factory floor. So generally speaking, the shorter the thermocouple wire, the better. Click the link below for more information on thermocouple length. Let's begin with the thermocouple itself. Your thermocouple may or may not have a spade type connector on one end. If so, simply loosen the screws on the connector, exposing the bare wires. Thanks to the American National Standards Institute, thermocouple wire is color-coded to indicate type and polarity. In the case of a K-type thermocouple, we'll connect the yellow wire to the positive connection on channel 1 and the red wire to the negative. With the thermocouple connected, we'll run the WINDAC dashboard, select the DI-2008, and start WINDAC. Upon running WINDAC, you'll see that all channels are configured as analog voltage inputs by default. To display temperature, we'll choose Channel Settings from the Edit pull-down menu and select the thermocouple input type. With the thermocouple input type selected, you'll notice a list of different thermocouple types and their corresponding measurement ranges. In this example, we're using a K-type thermocouple, so we'll select K. To display temperature in degrees Fahrenheit as opposed to the default Celsius, we'll click the Fahrenheit checkbox. As you can see, temperature is now displayed in WINDAC in degrees Fahrenheit. Note the temperature rise as we heat the thermocouple. This tutorial, covering thermocouple selection, connection, and temperature data acquisition using a DATAC Instruments model DI-2008, WINDAC data acquisition software, and a K-type thermocouple, also applies to the 4-channel DI-245. Thermocouple data can also be acquired using the web-based DI-808. Click the product links below for more information.